In this video, we're going to talk about when shadows collide. Can a powerless spawn survive this threat? And you'll see what I mean by the end of this video. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of King Spawn, issue number 38, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in King Spawn, Spawn has made his way up the ladder and has found those responsible for Granny Blake's kidnapping, and he's pissed. It's been months since they all lost their powers. Months of positioning and hiding themselves to better take on their mortal enemies. But while warriors and agents of heaven and hell have been trying to get the edge on one another, both have had to deal with the fact that the vampire sector didn't lose their powers. Their acts remain the same and they can't mess with them. So this meant survival was the goal, either by staying away from the wrath of those legion of vampires, or trying to curry them, bend to their knee, do any favors you can, kiss their butts for survival. And that's how Tyrone found himself in this humiliating position. His father had tried cozying up to blood, offering to bring Spawn to him in exchange for protection. All he had to do was flush Spawn out in the open by going after someone Spawn deeply cared about, and that was Granny Blake. And they messed up and Spawn came in with hands and smoke and that failed. And Tyrone's like, I'm not afraid of you, demon. And Spawn's like, ditto, no to taken. Well, that's just a matter of time, all right? So do your worst. Well, even though he didn't say that, but Spawn's like, are any of you from heaven? And this guy, obviously Tyrone, is an angel, but he has no powers now. So Spawn tells Saigor and Tinker to go on, he needs a few minutes alone. And Tinker's like, yo, I could stitch you up, but you want me to go alone with that? Spawn's like, yeah, baby, just listen to me. He'll be all right, he don't bite. Not hard, at least. So Spawn goes in, takes off his mask, and he's like, you know who I am, right? Well, so does your dad. He knows me all too well, actually. You see, I was willing to face your dad in prison until one of us fell, but that wasn't good enough for him. He went after an old blind lady instead. And Tyrone's like, these chains, and Spawn's like, yeah, what, do they hurt? When she wasn't paid, did you give a crap? Or you didn't care? You just went on and on with it, right, with my grandma. So I'm going to treat you the same way you treated my family, with cruelty and disdain. Do you hear me? I don't care what you're feeling. And I'm going to make damn sure your dad gets the message loud and clear. You got that? So there goes Tyrone's dad. He's not happy about that. And the reason why he's not happy about his son's capture is because he doesn't have anything to do with it. But Spawn doesn't know that. So the dad's like, so what do we do? Just wait and do nothing? And his goons are like, well, sir, we'll do whatever you order, but we need to know where the target is. And the dad is like, blood. He already has the upper hand on us. He finds out I can't deliver on my promise to bring him Al Simmons. I'm of no use to him. Once he decides that, he eliminates all of us. No questions asked. So I need my son or I need Simmons. So these guys ask, well, what happens if the rest of the cartel finds out? They didn't support you for going after Miss Blake. You know that, right? And he's pissed like you mess with my pride. Don't tell me the truth. I'm aware of that. But Blood and his army have powers and they're not going to help me find my son. We need to even the odds even just a little. So find a man who deals with augmented beings, all right? Someone and they're like, okay, well, someone's been sent to chat with them, all right? So we'll report back if we hear any news about Tyrone and these vampires. They're there waiting, and these vampires are waiting with Tyrone's dad. Like, did you get all that? We did, but we can't protect you much longer. Blood is growing already suspicious. We need to make this right because we're all getting caught in your net. So while some attempt to hide from this war, others are planning, waiting for their moment. There's someone in the streets walking, and this vampire springs her trap, pulls back the hood, and he's surprised to find out that it's Al Simmons. The creature tries to make sense of this. Why is he here? They said he was hiding. Then there's a noise as another creature joined the freight, and Saigor, he wants that smoke. And he looks at the vampire, and vampire is like, I don't know about this, but I can't go out. Like, but mama didn't raise no punk, right? But we all know how that ends. So we see this guy in his diner, I guess you can say, and he's bragging about that he's a shrewd negotiator over the phone. So this guy in shades comes up to him and this guy is like, okay, can I help you? Hang up your phone. Okay, I will. You look like a serious guy, but let's get the easy stuff out the way right now. It'll cost you 60000 a day minimum for one of my clients. And this guy with the shades is like, you messing with me, right? Well, that's my rave. You can't afford it. That's your problem, not mine. Is that so, you cocky little prick? And this guy's like, okay, Henry, a little help here. Henry comes up looking like an overgrown Mr. T. I'll pity the fool. Now, what do you want? 
he's put in a compromising position like so okay so later on that guy from the diner if you want to call it that meets with Tyrone's dad like let's make a deal make a deal they drink to business and he hears that he's a tough negotiator and he's like yeah I am given you who I am I have the perfect client for you and he opens up his laptop and we see this ultimate assassin right here isn't he glorious moves with deadly silence feels no remorse for his actions I could throw him into your package for just 20,000 more a day but he's in high demand so I need to an answer before I leave a few hours later the contract is signed and the agent has taken his leave Tyrone's dad phone rings he picks it up he's like are you kidding me right now he's I'm busy but if he showed up bring him in well there's Mr. Simmons right there Al Simmons to Tyrone's father's surprise so he asked leave us I'm sure Mr. Simmons would like to speak to me alone and Al was like why is move anything happens to me you never see your son again so how do you want this to play out you don't want my opinion and I'm sure you're here to give me your conditions so what are they you leave my family alone says spawn and I'll leave yours that seems fair oh I'm not done yet I also want half your company and Tyrone's dad is like I assume that's a joke oh no I stopped joking years ago I need insurance you know I can't do that guess you'll never see your son again I'll hurt your family says Tyrone's dad you can says spawn but I'll gut a Tyrone by then so you want to mess with me and my family I'll mess with you and your family then I'll take out your men then I'll come for you half your company that's my price and he walks away like a gangster like a top but as spawns walking away in Al Simmons form from above someone watches his prey the target in this case though moves with the sense of calm in fact this prey welcomes the hunt he does a superhero landing and he busts out the swords and he's like oh no I'm ready for the smoke all right and his brother's looking like smoke from Mortal Kombat without all the smoke literally protruding from his back spawn you know gets into his gear like you're looking for Tyrone or me you see, it look, doesn't look like you're calling Tyrone, so Spawn flutters his cape and he's ready for that smoke before exposing his hidden arraignments. You want to fight? Let's go. Let's do this. And when I'm done with you, I'll show you what happens to the vampire I borrowed these from. All right? So the villain maintains his silence. He ain't interested in all that. Spawn matches that energy too. Matches his silence for silence. Eight seconds has passed as each Titan sizes their opponent enough time to allow each of them to plan then react and i hate to end on the cliffhanger like this but then again it keeps you guys sub to the channel and watching but that is the end of king spawn issue number 38 you know i ain't stingy when it comes to spoilers but that is literally the end so what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know also link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry with all that being said, thank you again for watching. Until next time.